everybody. Welcome back to Freedom Alts. Germ here. It is another First Impression Friday, and today we are going to look at Copper Fox. Now, typically, I do like to pick up the one of the most standard releases I can from a distillery. However, Copper Fox is a little bit harder for me to get a hold of. I had the opportunity to get this one, so I took that opportunity. And we're going to give it a shot. Um, this one is different in that a it's a it's a store pick. It's a it's a pick from Sealbox. It is proofed quite a bit higher. It's at sixty six point seven five, and it is a port style barrel finish. A little bit about Copper Fox. Two thousand five is when they started. They're in Virginia, and prior to two thousand and five, the master distiller took an internship at a little distillery over on Isla. In Scotland, uh, Bomore, maybe you've heard of it. <laughs> uh, however, I do think he may have learned a thing or two about making a quality malt whiskey over there. The other things that really, really intrigued me about Copper Fox is their floor malting. Actually, they're the first floor malting facility since the repeal of Prohibition. They are smoking their barley to stop the germination, and instead of using peat, they're using local fruit woods, applewood, cherry wood, etc., etc., etc. The barley that they use, the barley is all grown by one farmer, and the barley that that farmer grows was developed specifically for Copper Fox by Virginia Tech, and it is a six-row thoroughbred barley. Uh, so there's some really cool, unique things going on with this distillery. Um, that speaks volumes to me as far as the artistry of making single malt whiskey. I mean, they're going, they're very traditional with the floor malting process. That is labor intensive. It takes up a lot of space. It is definitely not the easy way out. So I appreciate that. The smoking of the barley to stop the germination process. Yeah, typically, you know, peat is what everybody knows. We do have several distilleries in the country using different types of wood to do this. Very cool idea. I think it works very well for most of them. And this one is using fruit woods from the local area there. So whatever kind of fruit woods are growing in Virginia, that's what they're using. Um, apple wood seems to be a thing that they talk about a lot. The other unique thing that they do is they take some apple wood chips, toasted, and throw them in the barrel. Let's see what it smells like. Woo. Okay. So immediately, I can smell the wine. It is exploding out of this glass like crazy. I would say, if I was blindfolded, I would say this was a wine with an, a massive amounts of proof. But getting past that, I do smell some smoke. Um, this one, this particular one, so there is some slight differences here between this and what they normally do. Uh, this particular one is smoked with apple wood and cherry wood and smoked to a level of about 12 to 18 ppm. Um, and then barreled with a, this is, I'm just going to read you what this is, barreled with a progressive series of used and new applewood and oak chips inside used bourbon barrels and finished in a port style wine barrel from neighboring wineries. Also non-chill filtered, which I would have to assume is natural color and look at the color at that. Man, that's dark. Okay, so back to the nose. The smoke is really nice. Um, it's like wispy smoke from a distance and it's like that smoke in the distance while you're eating a chocolate covered caramel. Sorry, I'm losing myself in the glass here. 
it, it, it really is an intoxicating nose. It's, it, it just, it, it's, there's things that keep coming out every time I go in for a smell. And really, really can appreciate that. Picking up a little bit on that barley now. But that wine note is still super strong. It is, it is, I mean, that is definitely the front runner here. With that chocolate covered caramel smoke. I mean, that just sounds good. All right, let's go in for a taste. Okay, so right up front, it was a blast of that wine. And then it kind of fizzled into that chocolate and caramel no smoke on the taste but the, the the instant that i swallowed there was this sourness and like fruit sour really tart cherries boy that smoke is good man oh, oh, oh. let's go back in for another sip yeah, that tartness. As soon as you swallow, that first thing is a tart. And then it kind of fades off. There's an ashiness to it on the finish. And as I'm talking, the smoke and the ashiness is coming back out. And a pretty good amount of peppery spice. just lingering every all of that stuff is just here lingering it's not going anywhere every time i have to swallow again that tartness comes back um definitely complex really really unique wonderful play on an american single malt here perfect amount of smoke i would say absolutely a perfect amount of smoke it is there, and then it's not there, and you can't really taste it. You can tell it's there on the finish, and you can taste a little bit of it then. And I feel though, had I, if I'm just sitting here drinking this, and I'm not talking, and I feel like I wouldn't get that smoke, and the constant movement brings that stuff out. It is still there lingering. I mean, this is crazy. Coming back in for the nose, that smoke is, is definitely starting to come up. The wine is starting to, flow, to fall off a little bit. So that's kind of nice that it's, as it's airing out, it's, it's changing a little bit. We're going to add a little bit of water to it since it is at 66. And that brought out a little bit more barley right off the bat. The smoke came up a little bit. And then there's this, this, it's hard to say you smell bitter, but you kind of know what bitter smells like. And there's a little bit of that here uh, with this water that I wasn't getting earlier. Mm. Okay, lowering the proof on this is definitely, definitely recommended. It was very fruity off the front. I mean, f fresh fruit, really nice ripe fruits. And on the dark fruit side, so nice cherries, raspberry, little, little bit of a barley taste. That smoke is still there, so we didn't lose any of that. That sourness went away with the water. I do, I'm not getting that, and I'm not getting the nasty not nasty uh the crazy drying of the the whole inside of my mouth here with the water so that's that's definitely beneficial i'm gonna like this one with a little bit of water on it yeah absolutely this one's gonna take water really well but first impression um this is exceptional and i have this sneaking suspicion that pretty much everything from them is going to be exceptional um, what can I say? I mean, it's, it's great, man. It's a, it's a really a great whiskey. Uh, if you are in that part of the country 
or you have access to Copper Fox, I definitely say give them a shot. I, I highly recommend it. I don't have much else to say about it, but uh, give her a shot. All right. Thanks, everybody. Cheers to this American spirit.